In this video we're going to show you how to use an angle grinder to cut sheet metal. So the first thing you need to do is make sure you've got a metal cutting disc in your angle grinder. This will normally say on, whether it's a metal cutting disc. Uh, normally you can tell because metal cutting discs are quite thin. This one's 1.2mm thick and they go up to about 2.5mm thick. So always make sure you've got a metal cutting disc. We'll attach the disc we've used in the description, so if, if you're short of any you can get some through that. So once you've got the right disc in, the next thing you need to do is mark up your steel. So we've got our steel sheet here. We've marked on our nice straight edge that we're gonna work from. And then we're just gonna use our square because it will give us a 90 degree corner and a nice straight line. So simply take your steel. I always like to use a nice thick marker pen and then you can see your line. Once you've got your goggles on and the sparks flying, it can be difficult to see your line. So give yourself the best possible chance and give yourself a nice, a nice thick pen line. Now before you start cutting any sheet metal with an angle grinder, it's always best to wear safety goggles. In fact, it's, it should be mandatory. Whenever you're cutting steel, always wear your safety goggles because there'll be sparks coming off your metal and also angle grinder discs work on the on the assumption that they're an abrasive disc so parts of this disc will come off tiny little fragments as you're cutting so always make sure you wear your safety goggles because sparks will fly so if you've not cut much sheet metal before we've got our two mil thick piece of sheet metal here obviously you can get a lot thicker than this but this is good to just give you a quick demonstration uh, you want to take it quite slow and controlled there's no rush just take your time with the cut so once you've marked your line, you can position your steel just over your workbench. This is the most common way to do it. And we're quite fortunate here because we have this baton fixed to our workbench. So we can, we can butt our sheet up to it. If you don't have the privilege of a baton, you can always clamp your steel down or screw a piece of wood to your bench just to clamp the steel in place. You want to try and keep the steel close to your bench. The further away you have it, the more likely it is to flap around. So keep your steel close to your bench, put your safety goggles on, and the first thing you're going to do is just nick the pen line right at the end to start the cut. So you're just going to take a small amount of the steel out just to start your cut. This then gives you a groove which you can follow. So you've got your goggles on, you want to support your steel, and you just want to take a tiny little nick out this end. You don't need to force the angle grinder at all, just let the weight of the grinder cut into the steel just to create a nick at the edge. This is probably the trickiest part of the operation. So you can see we've got our nick there. That's perfect because now we've started our cut with this groove to follow all the way along. So what you want to do is as you're cutting you want to sort of rock the grinder back and forth, always keeping the grinder wheel below the surface of the sheet metal. What, you, what the biggest problem that can occur when you're doing this is that your grinding disc slips out and you go across your workpiece. So if you are worried about your disc slipping out, always make sure that you keep a little bit of a pressure on the outside. If we're keeping this piece and our disc grinder slips out, we always want to go away from the piece we want to keep. So that's just a little tip while you're getting started, but you'll soon get the hang of it. It's a relatively easy job that even beginners can do. So we'll carry on now with our cut, trying to keep halfway on our pen line. As you can see, we're rocking our grinder back and forwards, letting the weight of the grinder cut through the mild steel. So you want to kind of take a bit more of, follow your line a little bit with your grinder, then rock back, follow your line, rock back. Slowly repeat that process, taking a little bit of material out each time until you finish your cut.
And that's what happens if you don't put a fresh battery in your angle grinder. There we go, new battery inserted. We'll finish our cut just at the last the last five mil. So as you can see, we've now got our nice straight cut there. Uh, I wish that battery charger would shut up. We've now got our nice straight cut. As you can see, the grinding disc has done a great job of leaving us with a smooth edge at the top. Obviously, whenever you cut metal, you always have the opportunity for there to develop a burr underneath. So all we need to do now is take this off with a file and we'll have a nice clean edge. Whenever you cut sheet metal, it's always important to have a file handy just to get rid of all those sharp edges because once you've cut through metal, it's always razor sharp. Take off the points if you want. And as you can see, we've now a nice clean sheet metal edge that we've cut using our angle grinder and a metal cutting disc. If you want to check out more of our how to videos and how to cut through sheet metal and other sheet material, check out our other videos on our channel.